If you're an extremely avid gadget show viewer, you may remember that in our very first series, we tested the then emerging technology of digital photography against the tried and trusted technology of film photography. Yeah, back then on balance, we decided that film photography had the edge and gave the better picture. But now digital technology has come on leaps and bounds and had literally millions of pounds invested in it. So, though, Digital photography is undoubtedly easier and more convenient. The question remains, does film still produce the best pictures? So, to find out, we have done our biggest and most audacious test ever. To begin with, John and I recreated an iconic pose from the Avengers, him looking very dapper and me in my catsuit. We'd come to the studios of professional photographer Graham Oakes, so both cameras could be tested under the best, most evenly matched conditions. We were using two professional SLRs, Nikon's D700 and F5. Good. Super. The D700 is basically the digital equivalent of the film F5, because unlike most digital cameras, it has a full-frame image sensor, the same size as a frame of 35mm film. You're rolling! I know it's not trying to keep your mouth shut. <laughs> to make the test even fairer, we used the same 85mm lens on both cameras, and the sensitivity of the D700 was set to ISO 400 to match the ISO 400 film in the F5. You'd go for film, would you? I, I think I would go for film, yes, I th for clarity. Mm. But I think the digital might be more flattering on skin tones, but I think for the clear picture, I think it'll still be the film. Mm. But to find out, we'd have to scrutinise our snaps when they were printed out. That's a nice Ooh, one. Good, oh, that is good, isn't it? Yeah. So we decided to blow them up. And when I say blow them up, I really mean blow them up. Visuals produce the kind of enormous images that would make a Polaroid weep. Their giant printer is five metres across. They've been known to produce prints of 20,000 square metres. That's nearly the size of two football pitches. Our snaps were to be colossal, 17 metres from top to bottom. This printer could rattle out thousands of A4 prints every hour, but our super-sized snaps took two whole days. But hot off the press, they looked amazing. They were so big that they had to be printed on two separate sheets of material, then painstakingly stitched together. But it would take more than this to show off the potential of our prints. We still needed a big enough wall to hang the pictures on. Millennium Point stands imposingly, just a stone's throw from the Gadget Show studio. With the help of a crane, we installed the winches, which would lift the blow-ups up the 22-metre-high wall. Each of our blow-ups was 170 square metres and it was no mean feat to haul them up and stretch out all the creases. But seven hours later they were finally towering over the city. We hoped that when viewed in all their glory we would see a clear winner. Ooh. Hey, that's a picture, isn't it? <laughs> yes. Fantastic. The size of biggest picture I've ever seen of myself. I think they're <laughs> both fantastic pictures, but the thing is, I know which is film yeah. and which is digital. And what you need to tell me, this is crunch time now, this is where the work begins, which you think is best. There's far more detail in those blacks than there is in those. If you look yeah. at the cat suit on that left-hand side, where yeah. you are, John, it's got a really green tinge, it looks whereas on the, left, on the right, it's much truer, isn't it? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. Look at your shoe there. Oh, yes. It's a so grainy, grain. isn't it? Whereas Where's if we that? go over here and look over at this there, shoe, the right. it's looking hot. <laughs> it's looking <laughs> good. No, but it is, isn't it? The yeah. massive difference between the two there. I mean, yeah. the, the clarity in that is far superior to the one on the left. The one on the right is by far the Definitely. better picture. Yeah. So yeah. interesting. OK, before I reveal the result, which do you think is digital and which one is film? I think the one on the left is film 
And the one on the right is digital. I agree. The one on the left is film. The one on the right is digital. You're both spot on. Hey. Isn't that well done? Really good result. And That's I've got amazing. to say, I, for one, I'm quite surprised. The quality of the digital picture is way beyond the picture on the left, the yeah. film one. But it just yeah. goes to show, doesn't it, how much digital has come on in the last Absolutely. few years. Absolutely. Absolutely.